tied to the burn that Washington suffered the last time they played Nebraska because guess what? Here they come again. <laughs> Ouch. The Bridgepoint Education Holiday Bowl, Washington and Nebraska. Nebraska 10 and 3 coming off the heartbreaking loss to Oklahoma in the Big 12 championship game. Washington Steve Sarkeesian did an unbelievable job to get this team from 3 and 6 to 6 and 6. Jake Locker leading his team to a victory in the Apple Cup and they get a chance to go to the postseason. And Jake Locker, what heart, what character. Could have been an NFL first round pick last year, but his goal, he was determined to come back and lead Washington to a bowl game since the first time since 2002. Not only that, he played this year hurt. But he played this year hungry and determined not to lose games, to win football games. And that's what really impressed me because he easily could have sat on the sidelines and said, you know what, banged up, getting ready to go to the NFL. No, he stayed in there and played and sacrificed for his football. But with a score 28 all and maybe less than a minute to go, I don't think he's ever made a better pass in his life than he did for that touchdown pass last night. You know, the one thing that, that makes the scouts love him or at least love the upside and the potential, he does, Craig, have the ability and the arm strength to make pass. Though he's been uh, erratic at times, right. he can make throws that a lot of guys can't make, and that's what intrigues people about We were there maybe two Thursdays ago and did their game when they hosted UCLA and they beat them. And there were times where you'd say, okay, yeah, he can't throw the ball. He's not, and all of a sudden he makes the play. The one thing that you can guarantee that Jake Locker is going to bring is an attitude to the game that the rest of his team is, is a part of. They got a guy at linebacker over there named Mason Foster. Mm -hmm. he, he leads the Pac-10 in tackles. Big time. He is big time. If he were on any other football team in America in a top 20, he would be an All-American first, team, first all -American. team all the way around. So uh, Washington's going to go into this ball game wanting to be there, excited mm -hmm. to be there. It's going to be it's going to be a challenge now for Bo Pelini to get his team ready to go. I'll tell you one thing about Jake Locker. Mel Kuyper's going to love him. 6'4", 235, and runs a 4'3", and change 40. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Mel Kuyper's going to be drooling over him when it comes to time. How many times do you think he can jump on a box? Oh, at least 1,000. <laughs> <Yeah, that laughs> probably so. But remember, the last time they played Nebraska, <laughs> it was 56-21, to 21 and not nearly as close as the score indicated. Locker was 4 out of 20 through a couple of picks. Nebraska had three guys rush for over 100 yards in that game. The Huskies had no answer for Nebraska in any way, shape, form, or fashion. However, that was back when Taylor Martinez was really in a rhythm, really playing tremendous football, making, a, he made really good plays in that game with his arm. He had long runs in the game, but he's had trouble with ball security. He's had injury problems, a question about whether he's getting along with people. Uh, Jesse, how do you assess right now where Nebraska is with Taylor Martinez? I think Nebraska loses a huge part of its identity on offense without a 100% Taylor Martinez behind center. You go back look at the first eight games of the season, this offense was averaging over three plays per game of 30 or more yards on offense. Against Missouri, he hurts that ankle, and since that point, this offense has only had five plays of 30 or more yards since the eighth game of the season. So they've lost a lot of that big playmaking ability in the running game. But Reese and Craig, we remember watching Washington a few weeks ago. The problem they had on defense was that that defensive line, very young. They had a couple true freshmen sprinkled in there, and they're very small. So the second time around, Nebraska had 383 rushing yards the first time. Can they be more physical at the point of attack? Can they try to slow down some of these big offensive linemen, the tight ends, all the motions? Can they handle that this time around? Because let's be honest, guys, game was not close the first time. There's a big difference, though, Jesse, between having four days to prepare for a team and having four weeks to prepare for a team. And those young guys, those freshmen, they're no longer freshmen. They get through another spring practice, which happens in your bowl preparation. You'll see a different football team. And, and you know, and the other thing about that is that last year we saw Nebraska wallop Arizona in the, in the Holiday Bowl. We watched that game. And Sean Watson, he came out, the offensive coordinator at Nebraska, and he figured out some wrinkles and twists and turns, and he really got that offense going. They still have Roy Hellu running the football, Rex Burkhead to run the football, and Taylor Martinez will be more healthy, healthier by that time. So Absolutely. it's just a matter of emotions for me. I mean, if Nebraska shows up and they want to be there, I know Bo Pelini will want to be there because he's a competitor. Uh, there's, you know, it's still a victory for Washington no matter what. I mean, they go to a bowl game for the first time since 2002. Another positive step as Steve Sarkeesian uh, sets about to rebuild that big giant in the Pacific Northwest. They've got a big facilities upgrade starting to get underway in about a year or so. So Washington taking a step to returning to national prominence. See if they've taken a step and be a little more competitive with Nebraska than they were during the regular season.